here we have a different spicy for for each individual dish okay i don't know i don't eat out too much other restaurants because they have meat you know? right so are you of, vegetarian like okay life, you know? okay and you're kosher yeah well yeah but right. kosher i don't know kosher means not vegetarian okay kosher means like the the meat is like blessed the way they eat it. Okay. I mean, I You're it. kosher, aren't you? Here? We are kosher. Okay, yeah. We are kosher. Uh, I thought you meant I'm kosher. <laughs> uh, talk about your menu. Do you change it up every day? We change some. Okay. Because if we change everything, people won't uh, like people it. People say, I want the same one as yeah. the last time I was here. Exactly. Know? So we, we change, but we keep the same. It's both, you know? Right, right. So basically, you know, people like the lentils, you know? Mm -hmm. And then we have a spinach every day. Talk, talk about how the pizza came to be. You said you just enjoy making pizza, right? No, I, instead of enjoying, I need to eat first. You know, right. I used to love pizza, you know, but now I have gluten issues, so I'm like, uh -huh. I don't eat as much as I did before. And we so want that's how it started, you know. We but you just start making it for fun, didn't you? And then it, I wanted to make it, you know, my way. You know? And his pizza is better than any pizza place you'll I, go to. I agree with you. <laughs> I believe you. What is the most popular thing on your menu? Here, spinach. Okay. So you have, spinach. what is it? What's it called though? To... Sag paneer. Okay. Rice pudding. Nice. Coconut burpee. Okay. So when you have a minute, I can show you to the menu. We can go to the bar. Okay, menu. well, I'm going to yeah. keep this plugged in. But uh, what we'll do is we'll do everything as soon as this taping is over. Sure, no problem. Uh, once again, you guys can go on YouTube, uh, Food and Beverage Information Station, and you guys can see the video of this delicious food. We're going to make a video after the recording is over. Sure. sure. Um, talk about your family. Uh, yes, you still yes, have your family have two, working here? Yes, my two kids, they're in school. The older one wanted to come take a day off from school. <laughs> I said, yeah, please go to school. Yeah. <laughs> the school is first. You know? Right. So he, he, he listened to me, he did go to school. How old is your oldest? Older one is 14. Oh, wow. So you wanted to come. Younger right? one is 11. Oh, that's awesome. And my wife is 40 so. They all work here? Yes, when they can, yes. Okay, great. They're a good family. And good talk family. about your staff. Do you have any long-term staff members? Yes, yes. Sir. We have the lady working with us now. She used to work with us for like uh, 20 years ago. Wow. And she came back again. You know? Oh, that's fantastic. You so can, You can speak to her. Let me get there. Yeah, go ahead. Anyways. We're live on location. Samosa Vegetarian. Uh, Ravi just had to leave us so he can ring people out. <laughs> that is the, uh, the uniqueness of our live shows. When we're live on location at a restaurant, you do get, you know, you get to feel uh, as if you're at the restaurant. Uh, we had a live show from Co uh, Appetizers in Coatesville. And people love the fact that they felt like they were there with the chef. Because the chef had to get up, cook orders, come back to the table, etc. Uh, the place is still crowded. His biggest boom is during lunchtime. Uh, he's right in the middle of Center City, 1214 Walnut. And his biggest customer base are the workers in Center City. So he is literally packed uh, during lunch hour. And it's great because, like Rachel, the guest earlier, said, she said, look, I like the idea that I can uh, sit with people and enjoy my meal and uh, meet new friends. So we are live, uh, Samosa Vegetarian, 1214 Walnut Street. It's one of the few kosher and vegetarian spots in the city. If you're working in Center City, please note, you can come here and save time uh, by getting a $7.99 buffet lunch, and then it's $11.95 at dinner. But if you're on your lunch hour, you don't have time to wait for people to make your food. You can just come here and grab and go. So if you're only getting a half hour for lunch and you live within a, a, you know, a little bit of distance from here, you can come and get uh, lunch real quick. So Ravi just got back. He was ringing customers out. I was telling the people that... Uh, I can't sit. Oh, okay. I'm on the run. Okay. Huh? Glass. Sure. <laughs> Grab a glass. You want to sit down and be interviewed on the radio? Okay. Yeah, Anyone wants to be on the radio, you can come on over. Uh, we talked to the doctor earlier. The doctor was talking about the vegetarian cuisine itself. 
So if you guys are skipping ahead, please note, earlier in the show we had the doctor, uh, he's a vegetarian, and he was talking about specific, uh, specific items in vegetarian vegan cuisine. Uh, once again, we're live on location. So Ravi is busy helping the customers. Uh, Ravi's family opened this place originally in 1996. And then uh, they had it took a year and a half off, but basically they've been here for 24 years minus one year, 23 years. Uh, if you come here at lunch, this place is wall to wall people. Our guest earlier, Rachel said, look, I enjoy the fact that if the place is crowded, someone sits next to me and I get to meet new friends. So if you guys are in the center city area and you're going to lunch, please note that this is a buffet. So at a buffet, uh, you can actually come in, grab your stuff and go. So that is one of the appeals to this uh, restaurant. Uh, he makes uh, delicious Indian cuisine, but it's all vegetarian or vegan. And what, I, uh, what people like about Ravi is that he will label the food uh, and specify whether it's vegetarian or vegan. Uh, we talked about his love for making pizza. Ravi enjoys making pizza, and that is why when you come here, you're definitely going to see several different types of pizza. And what I have noticed is that the pizza goes quick. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, the pizza, Ravi does it because he loves it. And uh, he enjoys making pizza for his customers. And uh, you'll get a, several different kinds of pizzas, such as the Marsala pizza, which I thought was am amazing. He makes spicy rice. And he also makes uh, regular rice. But if you like heat, you can come here. Your, your rice is kicked up a notch. Uh, and he, got, he gives you several options. Just so everyone knows, if you go to Food and Beverage Information Station on YouTube, uh, you're gonna see this amazing wide variety buffet. Pretty much contains everything you need. Uh, we are doing a special uh, live on location edition. So if you're listening around the country, basically the point you wanna get is you wanna take home the fact that you can find places like these in your neighborhood if you're vegan, if you're vegetarian, there's no need to think that there's nothing for you. There are places like this. You just have to look for them. A uh, simple Yelp look, uh, Yelp search or whatever, you can find a place like this. Uh, so another thing you can do is if you're working in Center City, they have containers. You can just simply come over here. I don't have much time for lunch. Grab a container, scoop it into the container, and bring it back to work. Uh, that is why Ravi gets a lot of customers at lunchtime in Center City. Uh, Ravi was on our show. If you go to wildfirepodcast.com, you will see uh, that Ravi was a guest on our show. Have a great day. And uh, he was great. People loved his appearance. And we decided to help him out. And we're doing a live show from his restaurant. Uh, if you're just listening now, we had a great interview with a doctor who is telling us about uh, spices differentiate Indian cuisine. Uh, the difference between uh, is the spices that are used in Indian cuisine. He also taught you about vegetarian. We solved the myth. There was a myth going around saying that the impossible burgers and sausage, etc., uh, were filled with chemicals. The doctor said that's not true. Uh, so we talked a little bit about vegetarian and vegan. Uh, we're down to our last 20 minutes of this episode. We're trying to get an interview uh, with either a guest or Ravi. Ravi just brought out something that looks amazing. Uh, Ravi, what did you just bring out? What did you just bring? What is that? Huh? Oh, is that Marsala? Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Um... Once again, we're live, Samosa Vegetarian, 1214 Walnut Street. This is a very special edition of our show. We're just trying to teach people. Uh, we have a lot of listeners that are vegetarian and vegan. Uh, a lot of our listeners in Philadelphia are looking for spots to go to. So we are at 1214 Walnut Street, uh, Samosa Vegetarian. And what we're doing is we're trying to teach people 
it doesn't matter what kind of dietary restrictions you have or what kind of diet you're on, you're always going to find a spot uh, in your city uh, to, to enjoy vegetarian, vegan. Uh, there's also kosher. Uh, this is also kosher, and that's hard to find. I want to thank Ravi for heavily promoting this event. When we first got here, you could not move. It was so packed. Um, so uh, the lunch buffet is $7.99, all you can eat. The number here, and this is important, it's 856-217-0346. In case there was something that we uh, did not mention on the show and you still have questions, uh, simply call him, 856-217-0346. Another thing I'm noticing here is they have containers. Uh, basically, you can grab a container at a set price and fill the container. So just ask for the takeout container. So this is important because if you work near 1214 Walnut in Center City, you don't have time to, uh, to wait for to be served for lunch. Come here on your lunch break. Fill the container and uh, you can get right back to work. Uh, Ravi brought out the chicken marsala pizza. He's famous for his naan. People love his naan. They think his naan are, is better than some of the more upscale spots uh, that you can get naan at. It's a vegan naan. Too. Vegan naan. See, there you go. Uh, and I think the most important thing for people to know is you can get a takeout container, fill it up, and get back to work. And this is in the heart of Center City. It's at 12th and Walnut. There are hundreds of business places right near here and this is important to know that you can grab a container fill it up and go you don't have to wait on being served you don't have to wait for uh you know your check like a lot of people do you just take it get the container roll it up to the register and go uh we believe it or not our show is one of the most highly caloric shows on radio and our biggest our biggest request is where can I get vegetarian options? So that is why we're doing this show today. We're trying to introduce people in the Philadelphia area that there is a great spot that's uh, kosher and vegetarian. And we're also trying to stress to people around the country that you can just take a little bit of time and look, you know, and do a little research and you'll find some spots uh, that will satisfy every diet. So if you're gluten-free, if you're vegetarian, if you're vegan, there are spots everywhere around the country that you can find uh, that'll satisfy your diet. Um, just because you're vegetarian or vegan doesn't mean you have a, a small list. As the doctor told you, there are several spots in the Philadelphia area where you can eat vegetarian and vegan. Uh, this one is probably the least expensive. Uh, this is a... This is a $7.99 buffet, and it's $11.95 at dinner. I want everyone to go to Wildfire Radio or WildfirePodcast.com. I have added all 67 of our past shows. Uh, the first 47 of our shows gave you restaurant recommendations for every meal of the day and every type of cuisine. Uh, that can be found at WildfirePodcast.com. Uh, we did a pizza show. We did three cheesesteak shows. Uh, we've done fine dining. We gave pretty much recommendations for every meal of the day and every type of cuisine. If you are a podcast fan, go to your favorite podcast uh, platform. And you can see all of our shows. We had our shows on a... We had our shows on a... Uh, on a audio food tour on my website and I decided to let everyone enjoy our restaurant recommendations. Our show is now national. Uh, our focus with our new shows are for our national audience. So what I'll do is when we do these special shows live from restaurants, I'm going to actually call just title the show after the name of the restaurant. So we got listeners last week. We had listeners in Dallas, Texas. Uh, Beaverton, California, all over the United States. And when you guys around the United States see a show with the address of a restaurant, that's a local show. But if it's uh, labeled 
uh, type of cuisine, you'll learn about that cuisine during the show. So that is how we're going to differentiate. Uh, our current show was just recorded last Sunday, and it is doing fabulous. Uh, we talked about a lot of great stuff. We gave you the famous foods from each state around the country, and that has been a huge hit. Uh, we'll be doing that over the next few weeks. We have a lot of live shows coming up. If you're a local Philadelphia listener, we're going to be doing a show from the Bourse Building. Uh, that should be played uh, soon in March. We're also doing a show from Mama Maria's. It was confirmed today. And then we're doing a show live from the link. It's going to be a big charity event, and we will be covering it. Uh, it's going to be at Lincoln Financial Field. It's a great charity, and we want to get the word out about the charity. We are down to our last 13 minutes. And we're trying to get Robbie. Like I said, these live shows are to put you in, to, to make you feel like you're with us at the restaurant. That's the purpose of these shows. And sure enough, we're in a quandary because the owner of the restaurant is busy ringing people up. <laughs> so we're hoping to have him before the 13 minutes are up. Uh, and we'll see. But once again, it... If you look on Yelp at Samosa Vegetarian, he's one of the few that gets five-star reviews. He's got uh, several reviews, and they're all five stars. Want to go on the radio? We're live on the radio. Introduce yourself, my friend. Hi, my name is Ramon. Ramon, welcome to Dining on a Dime. Thank you. Uh, we teach people where to eat out well at a good price. You can't beat this price. Definitely. You know what I mean? So talk about your experience. So I've been coming to this place since it opened. Oh. This place before it was the current business that it is it used to be another Indian restaurant. Okay. Um, and they opened and closed a couple times, but since this place opened, it's been a boom. Um, I've been eating Indian food for many, many years, and this is the best I've ever had. How about that? Fantastic. Um, the samosas they made, they're like nothing I've ever had before. They do it in a different way. Usually samosas are other Indian restaurants are like kind of flaky, but this one is very soft. It's fantastic. Um, the pakora they make, the deep fried vegetables, amazing. And the good thing about this place, the great thing about this place is that every time I come here, I try something new. And even though I've been trying Indian for many, many years, there's always something new for me to find here. That's fantastic. And that's a great point you make because yes. it's a nice buffet, nice several options. But the point you just made is probably the most important. You that's come in here and you're getting different stuff. Something different. And the price course is fantastic but even if it's higher i will still keep coming I mean, that's what the because the quality of the food is amazing that's what the other guest said he said listen i would pay 20 dollars for this fantastic. and it's only 7.99 at lunch 11.95 at dinner ramon talk about what do you do for a living what do you i work as a manager at a um at a pet smart oh that's terrific yeah oh wow yeah and i live right here in center city Oh, that's terrific. So basically, you're just a local guy. I am. And you love this place. Are you yeah. vegetarian? I'm a vegan. Oh, you're a vegan. Yes. Oh, talk I, about the vegan food scene in Philadelphia. Yeah. Um, actually, I cook. I love cooking. I rarely go out eating. Okay. Um, I like making my own food and, um, you know, just knowing the, the sources of but the ingredients I get and preparing my, my own meals. But when I go out, I usually come to this place. Just because it's fantastic. I actually bring friends over also. Oh, okay. And I have friends who are not either vegetarian or vegan, and they still want to come to this place. That's that's good to know. Yeah, because we're carnivores, and we love yep. this place. Right. You know what I mean? We, we, we're one of them Fred Flintstone ribs uh -huh. type of people. Uh, Ramon, talk about your experiences being a vegetarian in the city. What is it like? In the vegetarian here in this uh, scene in the city has changed a lot okay. in the last 10 years. There's been much more, a lot of new other options in the city. It's grown. I think a lot of businesses have become much more conscientious of. Um, yes, I believe that. Of people, people's needs, um, and it's opened a few new uh, uh, opportunity for you know for us who used to have restrictions in the past. See, that's that's interesting. Now you just hit the home run. Before. If you were vegetarian or vegan in the city, it was tough. It was impossible to find something. Okay, it and terrible. now it has transformed mm -hmm. into a nice vegan vegetarian. Yeah, definitely. That's actually one of the reasons that I start learning how to cook. 
okay. just because I had difficulty finding uh, businesses that could meet my dietary needs. Right. Um, but you know, it's it's changed a lot. What was your what what prompted you to become vegetarian? Was there anything specific, or yes. was it a belief? Or? Yeah. Well, I've always been very healthy. Um, okay. But uh, about 15 years ago, I, I just went on a regular doctor check, and the doctor said about, that my cholesterol levels were very high. How about that? And th I was really scared. Right. Um, and so what I did is I started replacing um, meat or animal derived products with more vegetables and without realizing it I didn't want to eat meat anymore yeah you know what we talked about this we have a few health shows on our archives uh, a lot of times if you train your body and you do something every day your body's gonna just adjust mm -hmm. and that's true and that's with weight loss eating less or whatever your body just adjusts yeah definitely and I don't I don't miss it I don't have a craving for it. I mean, it's been 15 years already. Um, it's even the smell of it, like it makes me makes me sick. How about that? That's yeah, fascinating. Yeah, and it's, I, I have to say, it's not only physical, but also once I transition into a vegetarian lifestyle, like I've been much more in touch with my spiritual side. Which is, That's interesting. Yeah, and I've never been, you know, I'm not a religious person or, or person or anything, but it does have an effect in your, in your psyche as well. And you got to feel good that oh, you're yeah. not killing it. You know, you're yeah. not contributing to, yeah. you know, animal, yeah. you know, death and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's fascinating. And Ramon, talk about cooking. We have a show. We have mm -hmm. Jim Hassan is the chef at the Bors Building. The uh, uh -huh. he's a member of our show. Oh, really? He yeah. usually gives recipes. What's uh -huh. your favorite thing to cook? Uh, vegetarian. Uh, vegetarian. Mm. It's it's very difficult. It, because I, I love everything. Basically. Right. I like making um, uh, lentil, lentils and chickpea patties. Okay. I love doing that. And you just smash up the patties? Uh, I just smash it, add spices, and it's fantastic. It's great for, for barbecuing, to take it with me to work. You know, it's, it's, it's very convenient. That is awesome. You know? And talk about eating here with Robbie. Oh, he's great. Isn't yeah, he awesome? The service here is fantastic. He's, he goes to your uh, to your table and checks if everything's okay. He greets you. It makes me feel like you're at his house. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, I love coming to this and, place. And you've been here, coming here since they opened? Since they opened. That is yeah. fantastic. What is your favorite thing you think of all time? I love the marsala pizza. It's gone. They put it out. <laughs> I love the samosas. Oh, it's the samosas. Yeah, because... It's like nothing I had before, so it's I can't find it anywhere else. If I want that samosa, it's here. See, that's a good point you just made because when I go to an Indian cuisine restaurant, mm -hmm. I always ch test them based upon the samosa because my thinking is this: you're an Indian restaurant, samosa is synonymous with Indian restaurants. Yeah. If you don't have a good samosa, maybe the rest of the menu is not that great. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, what is the what is your favorite pizza? We were talking about Ravi's joy of making pizza. I I, the, I try the pizza once. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, I I just come for the Indian. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, it's and this whole this place is always packed. The place is packed. I have to come either before twelve or after because. But that's the allure of the mm -hmm. place because it's center city people trying to get their lunch. Yeah. A lot of these guys are health conscious, just like you. Mm -hmm. They're trying to eat healthier, eat better. They went vegetarian, they went vegan, yeah. so you know they're gonna come in here. But he also offers a takeout if you work in Center City. Yeah. You I don't can work come in Center in. City, I'm off. So I came I was actually Oh you work at the one down there? No, I work in Glen Mills. Oh in Franklin yeah. Mills. In, in Glen Mills. Oh, okay. Yeah, so but But um, you were off today, obviously. I was off today. <laughs> and I was thinking I was at home, I didn't want to cook and I was like, what am I gonna eat? I was, Thinking through a lot of different things, India. And I was here last week and the week before. And yeah, we were just tired. We were just talking to a, a doctor. He was a psychiatrist, and he sat with us just like you are. And he gave some excellent information on vegetarian. Uh, we talked about the Impossible Burger. Let's get your view on this big hit, this big yeah. craze. What is your opinion as a health conscious person? Mm -hmm. What is your opinion? I, I mean, I, I think it's a. I'm sorry. I think it's a good option as a transitioning food. It's, it's really good for people who are used to eating meat, are used to eat meat, and they want to transition into maybe a vegetarian option. But they're not the people who like eating vegetables all the time. Right. So that's an opportunity for them to experience that. You know, 
the vegetarian options out there are not bland food. Right. Um, they're not. They're not boring, tasteless. Actually, I, I the first time I, I tried it, I hardly ever go to to fast foods, but I just wanted to try it. And the first time I went to have the burger, I when I smelled it and I looked at it, I was gonna go back to the counter because I, I thought it was like real meat. Oh right, yeah. A, a real Whopper. That's what people love about it. Yeah, and then all of a sudden I realized that it was it was the vegetarian. And there was a rumor that the doctor uh, shot down that it was it, those are filled with chemicals, and the doctor made sure we understood that is not. No, true. no, no. It's a, it's, it's a really healthy. I mean, it's, it's a great option. That's it's fine. An option. And, but you're talking, and what you make a great point. You're talking about it's a great transition food. Mm -hmm. So if I'm just turning into a vegetarian, I'm starting that lifestyle. That might be a good option just yeah. to ease your way in. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely. fascinating. No, and, and it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a good transitioning food. It's a convenient food. Like if you're barbecuing at home during holidays, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a fun food. Is your go-to place Trader Joe's? A lot of the vegetarians uh, stick with Trader Joe's. Is yeah, you well, do? they opened one here recently. You no, know, Arch City, Street, yeah. Close to where I live because there's one further down like in 22nd, 22nd and 23rd. Yeah. But it was way out of my way. But this one, they have like great things. That's interesting. And every time I go in, just to show you guys the popularity of vegetarian, mm -hmm. every time I walk in Trader Joe's, it's, it's packed. It's great. It's like it's oh my God. just yeah. booming. They also sell some also but nothing like here. Yeah. Right there, oh, right thank you, Ramon. Hey, Ravi, you want to say bye? We're almost out of time. Uh, so sum up Samosa Vegetarian. We have two minutes. Talk about your place. Sure, I really appreciate everybody coming here. Not a problem. And uh, thanks for people who used to come and they still came back. Right, because you were here in 96, 96 to... to wow, and they, now you have people that now we just found out your back. And I ask people, how's the food? They say, better than before. Oh, wow. So I tell them I'm 54 now, you know. Ah, now, you, did you uh, make pizza when you in 1996? No, no, no. No, you didn't. This just is new. Uh, this is Selena. Hi, Selena. Selena, this is Radio Show. Guys. How are you? We're live on the radio. Dining on a dime. We got two minutes. Selena was with us before 90s. 90s. Oh, my goodness. 90s, and then she loved it. We love her. She's so beautiful. And you know what's funny? Uh, she's we a just good, She's a good, like a family member. You know? Right, right. We had the best interview with the psychiatrist. Yeah. You're one of yeah. your customers. Yeah, he's like, he should have. He was fa <laughs> yeah, but he was fantastic. That's his job. You're he, to people, you he know? was fabulous. And yeah. then Ramon just gave us a great interview. So we you know, found two, or, and Rachel, yeah. too. We had he knows three what great to do. You know, that's his job. Yeah, he's right. To people. Ah. He's their mind, you know? So he so, can read everybody's mind on the radio, you know? All right, we have one minute. Talk about why you want people to come here, talk about what they can find, etc. Well, I can't say my food is the best. Okay. I just say we cook, we try to cook with love, and the rest is blessings. And the rest, people come in, they eat, then they write us reviews. So you can read a review, and uh, that will tell us who we are, how we that's eat, true. How we treat our customers, Very how's our food, and uh, that's all I can say. And it's a, it's a... People ask me, how's your food, you know? I said, look, I can't speak for my food. Right. You know, you try, and then you let me know how it is. Exactly, and you're, it's a tribute to your mother and father, too, oh, right? Oh, yeah. My, my you know parents, what I mean? Every day is a tribute. Yeah, I still feel them they're here with me. Right, and that's what I love about your spot. You're still get paying tribute to your family. Yes, yes. And this food that you're putting out it's not is just with pride. Food. It's not just food. It's a blessings. Yeah, you know? all right. Uh, and so many guys, they come and say, Oh, Ravi, I had a flu, and I, I you know, like cold. Uh, eat your food, it's gone now. You know? Yeah, isn't that so, something? I mean, it's like I said, good. Keep it's away the doctor. <laughs> All right, well, we had a great time. Uh, we were live from Samosa Vegetarian, 1214 Walnut Street, 856-217-0346. If you guys have any more questions, uh, our YouTube uh, members, we're going to tour the buffet. We're going to give you a photo. Uh, once again, thank you, and our, we want to thank our vegetarian and vegan listeners for uh, supporting the show. We get a lot of emails from you guys, so we did this show uh, as a tribute to our vegetarian and vegan listeners. Uh, once again, this was live from Smosa Vegetarian, 1214 Walnut Street. 
Join us next week. I want our national listeners to know that every other week our shows will be dedicated just to you. That was great. I'll tell you what. Your guests were fantastic. Let me just take a video of the buffet. Yes. I'm starving. <laughs> Here's the buffet for our YouTube watchers. He's very well known for the spinach. There's a video of his pizza. Thank you, Ramon. I appreciate that. It was nice talking to you. I don't know pay for him. Yeah, he did a great job. Not the right time to make a video, but and I'll tell you what.